pulse induction system. This system incorporates new technology that delivers great performance detecting ferrous and non-ferrous metals in different ground conditions, soil types, and terrain. The pulse induction system uses a powerful PS50 DD search coil to efficiently offer greater depth searches for detecting hard-to-find buried metallic objects. Users can determine the type of target that's being detected according to tones of audio and search results displayed on the device's screen. Device installation. Assemble the search coil, PS50 search coil, and the lower shaft using the specified screw and nut. Two, insert the middle shaft into the upper shaft. Note, make sure that the antennas unit are locked so that they are stable during use. 3. Mounting the main unit on the holder. Place the device main unit on the device holder on the shaft. Fit the main unit and the holder rail in parallel position. Place the main unit on the holder rail until you hear the lock pin sound. To suit the width of the main unit on the holder, there is an option that users can use. This option helps position the device on the holder rail so that users can see the display clearly. 1. Loosen the screw on the holder counterclockwise. 2. Fit the main unit to the preferred degree and close the screw again. 4. Connect PS36, PS28 search coils cabled to the base of the connector, the plug for probes. 5. Connect the battery to the arm holder, armrest, with the battery clip in the specified position. 6. Connect the battery to the device. Note. Immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To begin using, select Pulse Induction System from the main menu and press OK. A screen will appear containing the following options ground balance. This option allows the user to adjust the ground balance according to the search area's terrain. This is performed by pressing the start button once while keeping the PS50 search coil parallel to the ground until the process is complete. It is important to perform the ground balance before starting the search. Threshold. This option controls the threshold of sound of the signals received. The user can choose to hear faint signals representing tiny objects or hear only signals of larger objects. By using the right left arrow keys in the option menu, the device user can tune out the sound signals from smaller, ignored objects. Gain. This setting refers to the option to increase the voltage from the search coil. The higher the value, the greater the search depth and sensitivity. Press the Start button and the right-left arrow keys to adjust the value within a range from 1 to 6. It's recommended that the value should be reduced when searching highly mineralized soil. Sound. This option adjusts the tone of the sound settings. The user can choose between several different levels and types of audio tones. The tone can be changed by pressing the OK button. Next to the buttons corresponding to previous settings, the pulse induction system results display screen is a two-dimensional colored graph that changes according to the object that the PS50 search coil passes over. When the indicator lines are in the middle, they will appear in green, meaning no target object is found. When the indicator lines go up, the color changes to red indicating the presence of target objects or non-ferrous objects, such as gold. When the indicator lines drop to the bottom, they will appear in blue, indicating the presence of non-precious or ferrous objects. The level of the lines rising or falling is a measure of the strength of the signal received from the search coil. The lower part of the graph displays two indicators corresponding to the type of detected targets. The first, in yellow, for non-ferrous targets. 
and the second in gray for ferrous targets. The length changes according to the strength of the received signal. How do you use? After the setup is complete, ensure the device is correctly and fully assembled. The user should begin by standing in the area to be scanned, holding the device in the following way. Start walking and moving the device slowly from side to side with the search coil parallel to the ground. Potential targets are represented by audio tones and shown on the device's display screen. Changes are displayed on the device screen if there is any potential target. The device indicates the presence of a potential target by issuing an audio tone. 